There's two dogs over there. <laughs> It's your girl Jay and I am back this week with a weekend reading vlog. I didn't film or upload anything last week which is like the first time in six years that I haven't uploaded every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so it was very weird but I've just had so much schoolwork. I'm in school to be an early childhood educator and I basically spent the whole last week just doing projects and assignments we only have three weeks left of the semester so it's like coming to a close which I am so excited about because I'm so over it it's only been three months of the eight month program I'm doing like the intensive program which is basically like taking a two-year program and squishing it into eight months so there's a lot of work a lot of readings because it's like such a big program squished into such a short period of time so it's been torture and I'm so excited for it to be over soon even though we have a whole another semester but instead of seven classes I'll only have three classes because I'm trying to plar my placement which means that I won't have to do it because of previous experience with children I've been working with kids for like 12 years so I got a lot of it so yeah I'll only have like three courses that I have to take and then four courses I don't actually have to take because of this plar thing but I have to like hand in a portfolio so that's a whole nother thing that I have to do but yeah it's been hectic to put things into perspective this is like my calendar it's like my weekly spread I guess if you want to call it of what I have to do and Mondays are always like super super crazy there's always so much stuff but on the weekends this is when like all the modules come out and they come out either Saturday or Sunday mornings and it's just so much stuff there's so many assignments right now we're here and I am so far behind like I haven't done half the stuff usually I'll have everything done by like Thursday and then I get Friday, Saturday, Sunday off and just don't do anything because I've done everything. But because last week was so terrible, I kind of didn't do what I was supposed to do for literally the whole week. So now we have so much stuff to catch up on and then we have so much stuff that we have to do for the next week. And then this week is when all of our like huge assignments are due, which I haven't even started. So that's going to be fun. And then the week after that, there's like more stuff, but like... I haven't written it down yet, obviously. The week of the 12th is our exam week. So there's just so much to do and so little time. So I'm slowly, slowly dying. Haven't done a lot of reading. It is March 19th right now, which is like halfway through the month. Usually by the halfway mark of a month, I've read like nine to 10 books. I've read three this month so that's how much I have not been reading which is really frustrating because I'm so used to reading like all the time but all I've been reading are textbooks so what I've been reading for the past month is my creative effective learning environment textbook and we basically have to read the whole thing like front to back but it's like different chapters every week right now i'm reading chapter eight which is literacy development which you know so interesting for you guys but i still have two other chapters that i have to read for this week's readings and then over the weekend i have like modules where it's like all the coursework for that class that we're supposed to complete before we have our lecture for the week so it's a lot of readings a lot of videos that we have to watch because everything's online because of covid obviously so i'm going to go read the other two chapters that i have to from this book this week and take some notes so that i can pass my finals which are in three weeks which is crazy i'm so happy it's gonna be over but yeah that's the plan for this morning but then hopefully if i can get that done then i can read the coursework and chapters for the other class that I haven't read for yet. Usually I'm so on top of this stuff, but I had such a bad week last week, which is another reason why I didn't upload anything because it was like the week of hell for me with work and shit is just not good at work right now. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna go into details because you're not supposed to do that and you know, air your grievances online but it's been not a fun time for me and I had a lot of panic attacks and it was just, you know, not a good week, like I said. So hopefully this weekend is a time to like reset and I can just chill, which is not gonna happen because I have to do final projects, but hopefully I'll get some reading for pleasure done. That's the goal for this weekend. Will that happen? We don't know. This might be a very, very boring reading vlog, but hopefully not. Hopefully we're reading for pleasure after 
I'm done these chapters. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Okay, it's now 1248, almost one o'clock, and I have been reading for pleasure, and I'm so freaking happy about it. I'm reading Nina LaCour's Watch Over Me, and I'm like halfway through. I'm listening to it on audiobook because I got an e-arc of it from NetGalley, and then it was released, and I hadn't read it yet, but I had opened the little widget. I read like a couple pages of it, and so I was like, oh no, I don't own it, can't get access to the widget anymore, and then my last library got it on audiobook so i've been able to listen to it so my ratio is gonna go back up which i'm excited about it's currently at i think 82 percent i'm trying to like work through all of my net galley stuff right now but you know since we're not actually doing a lot of reading it's not going so well but i'm like i said about halfway through the audiobook part three of five i don't really know how to explain this book like it's about a girl named mila who i believe her parents died I don't know how they die. It's like an unknown circumstance. I have like my theories about what happened. It's like not her parents. It's her mom and then another dude who is like the mom's boyfriend, but like he's not a good guy. So they die mysteriously and then she gets sent to a farm which i'm not really sure what this farm is it's like a foster child farm but she just turned 19 so i'm not really sure like don't you age out of the foster care system at 18 i don't know maybe it's different in america but in canada you age out so i don't really know but she's on this farm and she's working there so maybe that's why maybe she's just working there as a school teacher there's like ghosts there and i think think that the ghost of the bad dude that her mom was dating is there which makes me think that like some fishy situations went down and now he's like haunting her i'm like lying in my bed and i keep like almost falling asleep so now i'm like up and trying to like stay awake and so i'm putting away my laundry and like doing like chores while i'm listening so that i don't fall asleep because i'm exhausted because i get up every day at 6 a.m to go to work until 9 a.m come home do schoolwork, and then go back to work at 3 till 6 and then come home and do more schoolwork. so it's a very exhausting day but today i've just decided we're not doing any more schoolwork because we read the three chapters that we had to and another chapter in a different class so now we're relaxing we're having a, a chill day of pleasure reading i'm thinking that i might actually be able to finish this before i go back to work at three it's one o'clock like i said and there's only two parts left of this audiobook and i'm listening to it on two times speed fingers crossed we might be done book number four of the month so fuck you <laughs> Um, Look Ballard, at me reading, mommy. Writer, actor, <laughs> uh, Look at you reading? Yeah. yeah. We're watching Drag Race instead and eating chips before I have to go back to work. Because, because I dragged you out of bed. Yeah, I was reading. So this is your I, fault. You I just want the company to eat potato chips and dip and watch Drag Race. <laughs> Yay. Okay, it's now Saturday, March 20th. It's the first day of spring, so happy spring to everybody. I just took a shower and ate breakfast, and now it is 10.08, so I need to start on my homework for the day. I want to get it all done early in the day so that I have the rest of the day to just like chill and have a good time. I woke up at 8 30 this morning which was really nice because I'm so used to waking up at six o'clock in the morning to go to work so it's very nice to sleep in when you get to sleep in. But I did end up finishing Watch Over Me by Nina LaCour. I ended up giving it a three out of five stars which is kind of disappointing to me because like so many people who read it gave it four or five stars and I just found it very average and I don't know if that's just because like I'm not deep in enough for all the like metaphors and like hidden meanings of grief and all that stuff in it maybe i just haven't been through enough shit in my life to like understand how deep it was because everybody is always talking about how deep and like amazing that book is and i'm just like it was average so yeah unfortunately i was not the biggest fan but like i said my plan for the day is to just work on a couple of the modules that i have for school i have seven that i have to get done but only one is uploaded right now so i kind of have to do that one and then wait for the rest to be uploaded whenever my professors feel like doing it which is kind of annoying but whatever and then there's probably like a couple assignments that I can at least start. A lot of it is partner work and my partner said that she was busy all day today so I can't really do any of that stuff but I do have a couple of assignments that I can do by myself and start at least but they're 
not due till later in the week but I'm gonna try to finish at least one of them today so that I can just be like done because I don't like having to do work throughout the week I like getting everything done as quickly as possible so then I have a couple of days to like chill and do nothing because I'm a lazy motherfucker you know and then once I'm done like everything that I can get done which I hope will be soon like it's 10 10 now so hopefully by like 12 I'll be done some stuff there's a lot of like pre-recorded stuff that I have to watch which takes forever because it's like an hour and a half kind of stuff that just keeps going and they just keep talking and I'm like stop talking I think I'm probably gonna turn this vlog into like a net galley reading vlog because I have so many net galley widgets that I need to read and since I finished watch over me I just figured I'll move down the list so I think the next one that I have is called a taste for love I honestly cannot remember who the author is but I'll insert it here I have to write reviews for three of the books I wrote my Gilded Wolves review yesterday so I did do something book related yesterday which is good but last night Will came over and we just kind of like chilled since I haven't seen him in like two weeks because of the whole COVID thing and I had a lot of schoolwork like I was have been talking about so yeah I haven't seen my boyfriend in a very long time so he came over and just chilled so I didn't do any reading so that means today is our reading day. We're gonna get some shit done and I'll let you guys know what I think of A Taste of Love when I get further into it. I'm only three chapters in right now and so far like it's cute. I believe that is like a fake dating trope, which I really like, so I'm here for it. It's now 1.42. I just finished lunch. I just had like pasta and then I'm eating my dessert, which is this gingerbread cookie. And these are like the best gingerbread cookies I have ever had. They're so freaking good. I think they're called like Miss Vertman or something like that. I'll insert a picture of the brand, but I'm obsessed with them. Like we bought a big package and I've eaten the whole thing in like two days because I can't get enough of them. They're like the best things ever. But I figured I'd update on the reading that I've done so far because I was listening to the audio book while I was cooking my food but I'm reading A Taste for Love. It's by Jennifer Yen. I said earlier that I thought that it was like a fake dating trope which I think I'm wrong and I think that it's actually an enemies to lovers trope which is like my all-time favorite romance trope so I am so here for it. I'm about 80 pages in now and I'm really enjoying it actually. It's a lot of fun. It's about a girl named Liza who is Asian and her mom is always trying to set her up with a nice Asian boy. She has no interest in that so she goes behind her mom's back and dates American boys instead and then her mom is currently trying to set her up with a boy and she is just not about it and then she meets a boy named James who is Asian and they take an instant dislike to each other but I'm pretty sure it's either gonna be an enemies to lovers or somehow her mom is going to try to hook them up I'm not 100% sure which one is gonna be but they like despise each other and it's the funniest thing and I'm actually having a lot of fun with it but yeah that's what I'm reading now I'm going to just kind of like chill for a little bit I did three modules of my schoolwork but there's only three up right now so that's all I can do right now unless I want to start an assignment which I don't want to do so I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna try to listen to the rest of this book or I'm going to try to read more of War Girls. I started this like months ago and I'm only three chapters in so I'm on page 25 but I've been reading this since like January so I'm not doing very well. It's not that it's like a bad book I just don't have time to like physically sit and read because I just feel like I need to be doing things and school's been crazy and I just have a lot of shit to do so I haven't really sat down and physically read a book in months. I've mostly just been listening to audiobooks but this is like my physical book that is not being done but this is one that I had on NetGalley as a widget, so technically it still counts for my NetGalley reading vlogs. Mommy and I are doing my homework. <laughs> We're I, walking. <laughs> yeah, I had to go to the, our park and do a safety check on it, but there's so many freaking kids because it's Can't take nice outside. Of strangers. So I'm supposed to take pictures of like the unsafe parts of our park and like write a report on it Are but you talk about the safe parts of your park too or just both like, but because there's so many children right now because it's like 15 degrees out for the first time ever they're all at the park right now so i have to go back at like dinner and see if i can get actual pictures ah, that's okay we found some stuff yeah things that were good some things that the park's like 22 years old so yeah it's it's old 20, 20 about 21 years old because We've got a part of put living like new in the neighborhood. That was part of our community involvement was getting the park put in. 
So yeah, now I'm gonna go lie in my bed some more. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Um, I was making muffins. Oh, muffins. It's now Sunday and I have been doing homework all morning. It's now one o'clock, I just had lunch. I did one module. I'm currently reading a chapter of my textbook, but I had to stand up because I was falling asleep. So I figured I would update you guys before I go back to my textbook readings. I finished A Taste of Love this morning. I'm giving it a 3.5 out of five stars. It was really cute. I liked it a lot, but it wasn't like anything like over the top spectacular. So 3.5 out of five stars. I think I'm going to start House of Hollows by Catherine Sutherland. I actually already started it but I think I'm going to continue reading that. I have it as like an e-arc and it's not available on audiobook, but I'm like four chapters in so far and I'm really liking it. I've been reading it before I have to go to work like in the break room for the past like couple of days. So I'm only on chapter four, but what I've read so far is really intriguing. It's about these three sisters who were kidnapped when they were younger, but their memory was like wiped and they have no idea like what happened but their appearances changed very drastically and a lot of weird things have been happening to them since the kidnapping and I'm assuming like something really big is going to happen and that's gonna like cause like a whole domino effect and shit's gonna hit the fan which I'm really excited about but a lot of people have been rating this very highly so I'm hoping that I'm one of those people so far four chapters in I'm liking it a lot but I still don't really know what's happening because I'm only four chapters in, which is like, I think like 20 pages in, like it's not far at all, so. So I think I need to finish this chapter for my class and then I'll probably read that because my partner still hasn't texted me back about starting our group project, so that's annoying, but hopefully she texts me sometime soon and we can get started because it's ginormous and due on April 2nd. And we have another group project due on the same day and two other projects that are like by yourself kind of situations. So like four things due on the same day, one of them is ginormous, so like I mean, want to get started now, but hopefully she texts me back soon. But I'm gonna go read my textbook now and try not to fall asleep. It's now like 5.30ish on Sunday. I've spent from like 1 until 4 doing my homework. Just been panicking, so I started the project that we were supposed to start today, but my partner decided that it was too nice of a day outside to stay in and do work, so now we're not starting till Tuesday. So I started it myself because I'm... I'm not doing that. I was working on it for like four hours straight, so I decided to take a break. I was reading House of Hollows and I got 45 pages in, but then I got tired of holding the phone. So I switched to an audiobook. So my audiobook is Glitter by April Lynn Pike. It's not a net galley arc that I have. I just liked the cover and decided that this is what I was going to listen to. So that's what's happening. I'm kind of confused about it. I'm 33 pages in chapter three, but I don't really know what the heck is happening. It follows this girl named Danny who witnesses a murder and then her mother does a whole bunch of like blackmailing and gets her engaged to the king on her 18th birthday. But she doesn't want any part of this. So she's trying to scheme her way out of it. And she has to collect a whole bunch of money in order to like disappear. But the only way that she can get all this money is by selling a drug called glitter and it's like the story of that. I'm only three chapters in, so not very far, so it's more of like the backstory right now. So far, so good. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun, so I'm intrigued. I need to end the vlog here so that I can edit it because it needs to go up tomorrow. So maybe I'll film another reading vlog next weekend because this week is just gonna be schoolwork and my work, so no time. Because I have to finish the two assignments that are due on the same day and then the two other assignments that are also due on that day but not partner related. But they don't open up until Monday, so I can't do them until Monday, so yeah. I'm frustrated, but whatever. I'm gonna go read this book now and wait for dinner. We're having the Mandarin for dinner, which is like a Chinese restaurant in Canada. I'm not 100% sure if the states have it, but it's like my favorite place ever. It tastes so good. So yeah, I'm excited for dinner, but I'm gonna go edit this video and then read. And then I will see you guys all in my next video. Thanks for joining me. Bye.